I'm Erin Conrad from Two Works For You. Here are today's top stories. We have an update to the man who was killed in an officer-involved shooting overnight. Police have now identified the man as Jerry Gaggins. The incident happened just after 2.30 this morning at the Waterstone Apartments near Hope Valley in Tulsa. Officers say they were responding to a domestic call when they showed up to find Gaggins with a knife. Officers say when they confronted him and told him to drop that knife, he didn't. Two police officers and a security guard opened fire. Gaggins was taken to the hospital in critical condition where he died. A Broken Arrow man convicted of murdering his ex-girlfriend will learn his fate in court today. Police say Connor Bruner shot and killed 21-year-old Lauren Kidd back in 2018. Investigators say he dumped her body in a recycling bin. The jury is recommending that Connor serve life with the possibility of parole. And the Berry Hill Fire Chief is keeping his job for now on a probationary basis. The city's Fire Protection District Board held a meeting last night to decide if Chief Michael Hall would be fired. More than a dozen Berry Hill citizens spoke up in favor of Chief Hall. Chief Hall is on probation until the end of the year and will be reviewed every two months. And let's get a check of that forecast with meteorologist Kerrigan Chauvin. Well, temperature is going to warm up into those lower 60s for your Friday afternoon under mostly sunny skies. Now, if you have plans for tonight, good to go. Temperatures will be falling pretty quickly, though, with those calm winds and clear skies. Upper 40s by 8 and 10 o'clock tonight with those winds staying calm out of the southeast. Nice clear conditions on the way as we head into the start of your Saturday. Cloud cover increases throughout the afternoon with gusty winds out of the south. Don't forget to spring forward heading into your Sunday. Overall weekends looking pretty nice with temperatures in those upper 60s as we head into Sunday night, tracking the chance for showers, even an occasional thunderstorm by the time we roll into early Monday morning. Tuesday cooler with a high of 72 after reaching Mid 70s on Monday, mid 70s are back on Wednesday with additional chances for showers and storms for your Wednesday and Thursday clearing up by next weekend. Erin. All right, thank you, Kerrigan. That was a look at our digital update. Keep checking back for updates all throughout the day. I'm Erin Conrad, two works for you.